Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make some cheap cardboard tiles that have stone texture on them, okay? And these are great because we have a lot of friends out of the U.S. or even friends in the U.S. who don't really have access to foam, foam core, cork, that kind of thing, or it's just res restrictively expensive, right? And even my early tiles, I used the texture paint, so it was very expensive for out of, out of U.S. people, right? So these tiles are geared for our friends not in the U.S. Although, of course, U.S. people, you're free to make these, of course. But these are gridded tiles with a stone texture, no foam, no foam core, no cork, anything like that. All cardboard, easy to get materials and cheap. So let's hit it. I'm going to show you how to make these super cheap and easy gridded tiles. To start, I'm going to use this uh, cardstock that you might run through a printer, right? And then I'm going to add some white glue on it. And then I'm going to put a paper towel on top of that. So line it up with the sheet. Add some more glue. Line it up again. Spray it down. Uh, that's just water. And if there's any raised areas, you can push them down with a stiff brush. I'm going to add some 50 water, 50 white glue to the mix. Kind of push it down. Now I'm going to start adding toilet paper on top of that. And then spray that down a bit. Push with the brush if you need to, if you get any air bubbles. Cool. Another layer of toilet paper. Add some water. 50 50 glue. Kind of pat it down a bit. Push down with the brush. Got some really nice texture on there. Now here's, I'm going to show you the magic of this, right? So we got a nice texture build up. Now I'm going to use my ruler and kind of my uh, cutting board and kind of measure the, you know, use the lines on the cutting board to measure the inch grid onto this. So I'm just kind of sawing this into the, into the slushy uh, sheet, right? To the wet sheet. And you can see that grid starting to pop out. The one inch lines uh, starting to pop out in there, right? So kind of line it up if it moves a little bit. And uh, there we go. Just keep uh, doing the grid there. Now I kind of found the saw the saw method kind of moves it around a bit. So I, if you, I found if you push down, it seems to work better. So then I started doing that. You can see I'm just pushing into it. But I'm getting a really nice one inch grid as well as texture, right? If you have any air bubbles that pop up, kind of push those down. You can use the ruler to redefine the lines again. I've got double th thick cardboard here. You could do uh, two sheets of cardboard if you needed to. And then I've got that uh, sheet I did with the grid on it. And it's all dried up. And I'm going to use my uh, glue gun here and apply that to the top. So cool. Push it down. And uh, you can see it's not perfect around the edge, so you can just add a little bit of hot glue and kind of blend it in, right? So it doesn't just kind of fall off. The smaller, I found the smaller tiles you make, the better fit they are. The bigger ones, you're kind of, you're not going to be totally exactly, this is six inches basically, at the tilescape size. You're not going to be exactly that size, so. And I probably wouldn't go bigger than six inches. Okay, now I've just got some cardstock I've cut just from a cereal box. And you can just hot glue the edge and add the cardstock to the edge. And I'm just going to cut it out. So just keep going around the piece. Make sure you got plenty of hot glue on there. Don't burn yourself. Nice. Nice and solid. All right, now I'll do the other sides. Cool. All right, all done. I've got all the uh, card stuck around the edge that uh, you know covers that corrugation as well as uh, gives it some strength. 
and I'm just going to spray it with flat black spray paint. That's a great way to start it. And then it's all done. I'm going to use my colors. So I'm going to dry brush some gray on. And you can see that stone texture starting to pop out. Really cool. Just instant stone texture. And so cheap. You know, you have to do this with foam or foam core or anything like that. Then we use some uh, burnt sienna. A little red there. It looks a little red there in the camera. And some tan. And I'm just adding a variation to the stone color, right? Cool. Okay, now to help redefine the grid, uh, I'm going to use a light gray. And you can see the grid in there, though. But when I go around the edges of the squares, it really starts to pop out. There you go, nice. And you could leave it this way. You wouldn't have to do anything else. Uh, although the grid is defined, it isn't totally defined like some people like it really crisp. There we go. Cool. Nice. Looks great. So I'm going to use a watered-down black to kind of define the grid and a small brush and just kind of drag your brush along the lines. Easy to do. And uh, there you go. You got a grid. I'm going to add a little bit of distressing. You can add like cracks and that kind of thing. So let's set up a dungeon with these new tiles. And look at those. Those look great. And we'll add some other DM's craft projects. I'm sure you've seen me do in the past here. And just start adding some details. Uh, filling out this dungeon. But yeah, look at those tiles. I think they look so great. Um, so cheap and easy to do. Add another hallway here door and uh, how about a couple traps in there yeah that'll be good yeah I'll keep them on their toes I'll have a little room over here with some interesting stuff little altar yeah there we go gotta have some guards gotta have some guards yeah put the guards down how about a brazier uh, a couple lanterns you guys have seen my lantern craft I'm sure and uh, yeah great stuff and then we'll add one more room. This will be a cell for the poor unfortunate who's going to be the victim of this ritual. And uh, I'm sure you remember my hay from my hay video. Let's turn the lights out and see uh, these lanterns and stuff in action. So there we go. Uh, a little dark, but uh, you can get an idea of the lanterns and the brazier there. Let's look at the tile closer. Uh, I really think the texture came out great, uh, nice and easy to make. This is perfect for our out-of-the-U.S. people who can't get... Uh, can't get uh, styrofoam and foam core and cork and that kind of thing. It's just basically paper and uh, cardboard. So, uh, but it came out with it came out great. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and go forth and craft. Have fun. Hey, you crazy crafters, Roderick here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, craft that DM Scotty did. I thought it was pretty cool myself. Uh, he also added a lot of little projects that he's done over the years uh, in this uh, video. So if you like that stuff, uh, check out these other links and check out some other stuff you can make for your cool dungeons. Because we miniatures really like running around in these cool little worlds that you create. So have fun, go forth and craft!